Hi, I'm Tim Peterson, and we are going to go over the arm across sweep followed by the back take. Okay, so real quick to run through our setup so far and our combination, we've been hands underneath pulling, he starts to press, I go behind, paw grip on the elbow, and we've been working on our arm lock setup. Okay, and we got to this point, and we're seeing that if our partner starts to follow us around the corner, instead of going to the arm lock, we can get to this arm across. Okay? In this arm across position, I want to make sure his arm is trapped by my torso. So that's going to be best accomplished by looking towards the floor. So looking to my left. Okay? Our sweep was to go under the leg and take them over the top like this. Okay? Going all the way down. Now what happens is, it's very obvious once you've gotten into this position that there's a sweep over in this corner. So when Travis feels me load this up, he's likely going to shift his weight away from that side so that I can't start taking him over. And you can tell it's happening because his butt is starting to move to the back corner. There we go. So I try to sweep with the intention of taking him over, and then I take that same leg, my right leg, and I go down to his heel. Okay, I go heel to heel, peel his heel back, and open up my knee. Okay, this starts to rotate his shoulders a little bit towards me. From here, I pull my elbow behind my torso, and now I'm gonna pull his hip towards me like this. If I can, I'll lock the body triangle, okay? You won't always be able to lock that body triangle, so you can slide that leg through and put it to what we call the one hook when we're covering the half guard. To finish, I'm gonna keep that one hook, my knee pointed at the ground, extend that hook and pull on him to bring his shoulders to the mat. Now, when we get to this point, I wanna keep my shoulder off the mat and get the seatbelt grip just like this. Now I can start to feed his collar and finish. So let's look again from this side here. Are we turn? Yeah, let's get over here, so. Right, so, follows me around the corner. That's going to be the other way. Start to go into my sweep. And from here, Travis shifts his weight back. And I use that left leg to find his heel. I'm going to peel his heel back. And as I pull it back, I'm opening up my knee. And you'll notice his shoulders start to turn. I look to the ground, pull my elbow behind my torso. And if I can, I'll lock a body triangle. Since most of the time, that's not going to be available. I slide my right leg through. And I put it between his legs. So my right leg hooks his right leg. Okay, right leg to right leg. My knee is pointed at the floor. I'm gonna pull his hip as I extend that leg so it's straight. And now I get the seatbelt grip. Now from here, one thing that happens is as people take the back, they often go here and they put their shoulder down like this. Do not do that. Look to the right so that your shoulder stays off the mat and you get your seatbelt grip with your hand at the same height as your shoulder that makes it so that you're going towards the belly down position instead of putting your back on the mat. And from here, I have the hook in, and I'm good. Uh, for those of you that have been uh, following our videos, that back take right there is very, very similar to the one we did from half guard, where we would go from the hip check and the double paw to the one, to the two, back to the one, and take the back. Same thing's happening here. We're using the same mechanic of peeling the heel away from the person's butt to make them turn their back and fall over, and that opens up the back take. What you should get from that is any time you can get your partner's heel away from their butt, they are one, going to turn away from you, and two, they're going to be falling. So that's really good for any type of back take. If you can make that happen, peel the heel away from their butt, just start looking for the back take because it's in that, you're in the neighborhood. Okay? And that's that. If you want more videos, please click below to subscribe. If you want to dive in deeper, you can click here to get a free video seminar I did of one of my favorite sequences uh, from standing to submission. And if you have any questions or anything you want to see, please leave it in the comments below.